Yo guys, it's Hawk 112 here, and in this episode, we're gonna look at the last star of the Ghost of Galaxy. Um, I know the volume's a little low, but for some reason, my computer, even though it's on max volume, I, that, not my computer, my TV, for some reason, even though it's on max volume, it's pretty low. So, I spent the entire first... I already did this, and um, in the first episode, it turned out that I couldn't hear anything, but now I can hear something, but it's definitely not going to pick up on the Wii, I mean on the computer. So I think I'm going to give it one more shot, but, um, you know. Oh, so these black boos, they're called bomb boos, and, um, basically, they've got ridiculously long tongues, so all you have to do is break that one open, and just go out, and this time I'm going to go get this, because last time I didn't, oh, it's one of those. Yeah, let's launch off. Um, it's kind of low, and that's kind of disappointing, but whatever. You're going to want to get a lot of um, Starbucks, though, because there's a Luma shop when you're battling the um, boss of this place, so... So the music here is pretty low, and that's a little bit of a disappointment, because it's pretty good. I mean, it's not actually low, it's just that I can't even hear it, which means how are you guys going to hear it, right? I'm sort of disappointed about this. I really love the music here. Basically, you gotta collect those five pole stars. Um, then don't shake there because you're not getting out of that if you keep doing that. And then just launch yourself up there. And actually, you can go like this, and that's a pretty successful method. Um, you can get stuck in there pretty easily, and so it's a little harsh. But um, normally, you can save yourself. And most of the time, you don't. I don't get this place at all. How is a bouncy ball have a high enough center of gravity to, um, contain this gigantic rock thing. It does, you know, it's just, it's just not, I mean, physics works pretty well for Nintendo in this game, and I'm sure it has a high density or whatever, whatever the fabric is. Luma Lee, Luma Bob, welcome to the Luma shop. I can sell you something helpful for only 30 star bits. Which will it be? The extra life stream. I'll fill me up with exact change. Ooh, so full. Now I'm feeling great. So here I go. Transform! And we get it. Yay. And some coins. Now this level is so hard on one of the comments. Oh, and that must be our enemy. The boulder geist or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, the gold ones give off coins, and the black ones give off Luma, those bomb, uh, not Lumas, wow, Bombos, or whatever they like to be called. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta spin this sucker around, um, that's not what I intended to do, but that's okay. You know, let's move around a bit, give myself some more room to move, and let's do the spin thing. Give this time, let's have it actually work. Yay! It actually worked this time. Oh crap. Moving out of the way. Now that entire portion is blocked off for me. Unless I want to be a beast and like break it with bomb with bamboos. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to waste my time with that. Anyway. I think it's a three hit thing again. Like always. Oh uh, great. Now I'll jump to this side. Barely survive. And now it's split off into three portions. 
It's great. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Once I got hit by all of the rocks, it was pretty awesome. Oh, and there we go. That should be it. No. What is that? Alright. What the deuce? I think you have to hit... Yeah. You gotta hit his tongue. Or like, whatever that red thing is with um, the bomb is that he gives off. Because he's actually just a shadow. He's not actually a rock thing. He's not actually made up of boulders. So, um... But now he gets punches and that's kind of lame. I don't think that's cool. Like, how does a rock thing get punches and now he's conjuring up magical rocks? It's uncool. It's just not cool at all. Anyway. Ow. Great. Now I just lost my special power-up, which means I'm on an unequal playing field. That's great. This guy's got two hands and gigantic rock things, and I got what? Nothing. So not. Oh, crap. Oh, let's see if I can get out between them. Yay! Good job! Now I'll just break his other hand, and, um, let's get out of this place. Ouch. Alright, so that hand's completely destroyed now. Which is kind of funny because it wasn't the hand that I was aiming for, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, right? And we can hit his actual face twice. That was cool. I mean, it would have been more cool if, like... Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so... I just got... Crushed. Oh no, I got a handbag. That's lame. But anyway, you punch... He's punching this stuff away from me. So that's good. Um... Uh... This is a... Basically a... Mission of running away, frightened, for your life. Because, um... There's not a lot else you can do until you get to this point, and you can slam it. And luckily it's not three times, it's only twice. So the kitchen seems to be a two-hit thing. I don't know. I mean, it was a combination of threes and twos, because... You know, I have a feeling I'll be no good here later. Um, but that's okay. Because I'll get many tips. And I probably won't have to try as hard. Never mind. So that's the ghostly galaxy. As far as the ghostly galaxies, I'm gonna go for now. Unless, of course, there's like a, um... Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if there's any pranks or comets in orbit so that I can send you guys off with a good feeling next time. Oh, of course, here's the map. Uh, pranks or comet over the ghostly galaxy. I totally agree. Um... So, in the next episode, we will go get the Daredevil Comet over Girls of the Galaxy. And you know how I said I'll be no good at this later? That later is, n n well, next time, because I don't have enough time now. And although it may seem like I'm cutting it off early, I'm really not. So, until next time, guys, see ya.